Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see about integration with the web using Juice Jersey Servlet. What is the Jersey Servlet module? A servlet module module that provides JAX, RS and Jersey related bindings. The module has a dependency on Juice container, which is required to be served in the servlet module dot configure method. The following bindings are defined. Web application, providers, features and properties, message body workers, exception mapper context, HTTP context, URI info, extended URI info. HTTP request of context, HTTP headers, request security context, HTTP response context, resource context. What is Juice Container? It comes under com.sun.jersey.juice.spid.container.servlet.juice container package. It's by default declared as a at singleton class. A servlet or filter for deploying root resource classes with Juice integration. This class must be registered using com.google.inject.servlet.servlet module. This class extends servlet container and initiates the web application with a Juice based IA component provider factory, Juice component provider factory such that instances of resource and provider classes declared and managed by Juice can be obtained. Juice bound classes will be automatically registered if such classes are root resource classes or provider classes. It is not necessary to provide initialization parameters for declaring classes in the web.xml unless a mixture of Juice bound and Jersey managed classes is required. Let's implement. Let's remove servlet related configuration and change it to Jersey. Because creating multiple servlets is not all good and difficult to manage. Let's search for the Jersey Juice Maven dependency. Copy this and paste it in palm XML file. Remove other serve and use generalized serve. Now delete all three servlet. Rename package with controller. Now create a new class called juice controller. Change juice servlet to juice container and serve. So now whatever methods we will create in Juice Controller those we can access directly because we kept Google slash a servlet or filter for deploying root resource classes with Juice integration. This class must be registered using servlet module. This class extends servlet container and initiates the web application with a Juice based ILC component provider factory. Juice component provider factory, such that instances of resource and provider classes declared and managed by Juice can be obtained. Juice bound classes will be automatically registered if such classes are root resource classes or provider classes. It is not necessary to provide initialization parameters for declaring classes in the web.xml unless a mixture of Juice bound and Jersey managed classes is required. Instead of servlet module, we will use Jersey servlet module. Now we need to bind Juice controller also. Now let's add some methods in Juice Controller. For starting let's continue with say hello method which we created in the last video. Remove login servlet link and JSP as well.
instead of juice servlet. Now let's call say hello method of juice controller. I hope you got the idea. Let's run and see it's working or not. As you can see in log also jersey related logs are coming, let's check it. See it's working, it's very simple. Let's change from Google to rest. And run again. See now also working fine. Now let's address call for user service authenticate method also. We will contact annotation to read those values. We will read username and password using URI, Uniform Resource Identifier. It looks simple. Let's add a link for this method call. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. Now instead of URI let's read it from the query. So add required changes. So this time we will use query param annotation to read values. Add one more like to call this one. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. Now let's see how to send username and password using JSON. Let's new method and this time request type must be post. But before implement, we need to add some JSON related dependency. So let's search for Jersey JSON Maven dependency. Copy this and paste it in palm XML file and Jersey server maven dependency as well. Now add required changes. It's very simple. Oops exception, let's check. Need to add consume annotation also. Let's run again. Oops after adding consume also exception is coming.
it's coming because of jar file version mismatching, do one thing delete all previously downloaded jars. Let's run again. See it's working. To validate auth by JSON, need to rest client plugin. Convert this request to JSON. Need to add content type. See it's working. Let's review whatever we added. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.